Brexit negotiations have been severely hindered following the outbreak of coronavirus which has caused some officials to call for an extension to the transition period. Although the UK's chief negotiator, David Frost and his counterpart Michel Barnier have conducted virtual talks, the latter argued the two parties are too far apart to come to an agreement. Although Mr Johnson has insisted he will not ask for an extension, a survey by Deltapol has suggested the majority of the public now believe an extension is needed due to the COVID-19 outbreak. With that in mind, Express.co.uk is asking, is Britain losing Brexit hunger during coronavirus crisis? Former Deputy Prime Minister, David Liddington has insisted the virus pandemic has made an extension inevitable. He told Dutch newspaper NRC Handelsblad, COVID-19 makes renewal inevitable. There is not enough bandwidth to pay attention to Brexit in Whitehall, the European Commission and the major capitals. Former Chief of the Civil Service, Philip Rycroft told Prospect the transition period needs to be extended. If the deadline is extended, Mr Rycroft said more time could improve the outcome for both sides. He added, more time could lead to a better outcome for both sides. Clearly there has been much less time for negotiation than could ever have been anticipated. However, in keeping with Mr Johnson's claims, a source close to the UK's chief negotiator told City AM that extending the transition would only increase uncertainty. They added, there is no debate about this issue and ministers continue to be clear that extending the transition period would prolong the negotiations and increase uncertainty, whilst also leaving us bound by EU legislation and obliged to make further payments into the EU budget. The negotiating team, which works within a policy remit set by ministers, operates as one, with civil servants and political advisers collaborating extremely closely. The deadline to extend the transition period ends on June 30. Without a further extension, the period will expire on December 31. It follows two surveys which appeared to show a declining desire for Brexit in the current climate. In the Delta poll which asked 1,518 members of the public between April 23-24, 56% of those asked to believe an extension is needed. Only 30% of those surveyed said an extension should not be requested while just 14 said they did not know. A further 42% of those who voted to leave the EU also agreed an extension is needed amid the current virus pandemic. In a further poll conducted by Focal Data for Best of Britain, two-thirds of the 2,032 people asked also believed the UK should focus on dealing with coronavirus first. Just 34% think the government can carry out Brexit negotiations while dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. In the poll released on April 21, a further 64% want the transition to be extended indefinitely until the pandemic is over. Of those who voted leave, 47% said an extension should be for a maximum of a year.